see them in the car, so I'm on that road trip again. Uh, and as you've probably seen by the title, you know where I'm going. I'm off to see Ken up at the Koi Collection. A bit of a catch up, see what he's up to this year and what uh, fish he's got in and what fish he's got coming out of quarantine and stuff like that. So, really looking forward to it again. So, I'll catch you when I'm there. Hi, guys. I'm here. <coughs> and if you remember this, well, that's uh, the koi collection. So, obviously, the catcher is here as well. Um, but this is his huge pond. These outdoor ponds by his house, stunning pond still. Unfortunately, the waterfall still isn't on because obviously with winter he's turned it off. Um, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. So uh, let's go and say hello to Ken and uh, the others up here, and we'll go on from there. Okay, coming through here. Oh, looks like he's closed this one tank down or closing it down, I'm giving it a clean out because of the winter. <coughs> this is one thing about this place. Is that you'll see filters like that and like that all over the place the old bubble bead filters which really work well for them they've got so many different types of filters up and running here it's amazing but obviously we've got this one the old Pete Waddington I think this was the Eric or the Epic whichever it was called first um, they've got this set up for something running on something I'm not sure what this one's running but it's up and running and it Obviously, does the job. Oh, I'm falling over. <coughs> um, now, as we've shown before, through there, he's got one of his uh, mud ponds. Through there, I won't go up there at the moment. Yeah, the ground's very muddy, and I'm not wearing the right footwear, but he's got the um, mud ponds up there. Obviously, he's got his babbling brook here as well, on there, and a very big koi. <coughs> yes, got me boy with me. And we're coming up to here. <coughs> okay, he's uh, changed his round. He's now got his uh, lilies and stuff in this one. Uh, he's got some small goldfish in there. And again, more pond, pond plants at the moment. Nothing in these at the moment. He is changing some of them around. And obviously, being winter, a lot of his stuff are indoors now. Where he is heated, obviously, more bubble bead filters. And in the summer, he unwraps this one, which is his bio chamber. And that's definitely the largest bio chamber. Or tallest moving bed I've seen that's got to be I've said it before seven and a half foot tall in there uh, obviously he's running off uh, next to 310 and 320 and he's got some heaters down there and he's uh, got these up and running and again I don't think he's in at the moment I was a couple of nothing in these at the moment he did say he's only just changed these round. That's why these grids are only on here temporary. It's all changed round, so we're just uh, running, running them up and cycling them through at the moment. So let's get inside and have a look at the fish in there. Right, coming into here, Ooh, got part of the shop area, which is where all your treatments are and your bulbs. And got foods and everything else. Now this is one of the, another one of his bio units, bio chambers. Now, this one's a bit smaller. This one's about five and a half foot. It's a six foot high, nowhere near as wide. Now imagine how this one's running, looking. Or imagine that four times as wide and a lot higher. Just mesmerising looking at them.
Colors on them. Here I went this. Yet another extremely wide, let me show my hand, extremely wide bio chamber. Don't know how much K1 and Helix, uh, Helix medium stuff he's got in there, but quite a bit. Take a jacket, isn't it?
Sorry, boy, in this one. I'll see him so well, but. That's because of shower and that's a high shower, I think. This is my favourite one here. We actually walk across the ponds and looking down on them. And in the summer, obviously, all these panels are off, and you can see outside. But well, I've got a sight here, it's got some beautiful fish in here. Quickly pan over them. Uh, this is just a small selection of some of the pipe fittings they have got loads more in another section in there and through that door there if you can see there's a natural lock on the door that's a uh, secret little selection in there i haven't filmed in there but i have been in there not many people get to go in and see these things but i've been through about six of those type doors today have a look at all the fish that he's got coming up for sale soon and i've got to say he's got some stunning fish coming up for sale um, so maybe next time we'll be able to see what he's got in there, um, but very nice indeed. Okay, back in the car on, a, on the way home. Um, I've had an absolutely fantastic day again. I've got to say a massive thank you to Ken um, and all the staff at the Koi Collection again. Made us feel so welcome. Uh, and a nice long chat with Ken around, sat, around, sat by the log fire and a nice cup of coffee having a chat. Uh, he's telling me his plans for this year and what he's been up to and everything else. Um, absolutely, fan that's an absolutely fantastic time there. And uh, privileged again to have a look around his quarantine area. And I've got to say, he's got some absolutely cracking fish to come out of quarantine. He's got, already got some fish out of quarantine, some crackers, but he's got some beautiful fish coming up. Um, and in a few weeks' time, uh, I will be coming back again and I'll be having some of his uh, fish off him, some of his toes I to put into my grow on tank. So I'm looking forward to coming back again in a few weeks. Uh, so yeah, on the way home, I'll catch you when I get there. Okay guys, just got back. Uh, as I said, it's an absolutely awesome place to go. Really is an awesome place. And uh, Ken is such a nice man. Um, really helpful, very knowledgeable. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you again to everybody at the Koi Collection for their hospitality and uh, while I was there Ken gave me a mug for the card collection to go in my collection so that's a uh, cheers Ken really appreciate that that's going to go up in my uh, collection um, he also gave me if I can show you this I'll unravel it it's going to be a bit difficult to put that on there this uh, calendar if you can see some of these on here nice the harco on there and the uh, sanke i'm trying to find the best picture uh, sanke shiro atsuri different things on there look absolutely beautiful calendar um 
and I'll show it on there. So that will go, hopefully, I'm gonna try and hang that up in here somewhere if I can. And um, to the later date, they will make nice pictures to be framed, or laminated and put up somewhere. So, so there, that was excellent. And he also gave me these calendars. Can we throw these awkward to done there? These uh, I'm going to show you a little bit. These calendars as well on here. Um, what I think I'm going to do with these ones, um, I'm going to take these to one of the shows I go to. Again, there's some lovely pictures in there. Um, so I'm going to take those to a show with me and so there's only three of them ones so I'll sort them out on that one second show maybe the first one come up to me and say have you got a uh, one of them calendars first three to have them to ask for them I can have a calendar um, so fabulous time fabulous place as I said I am going back again in a few weeks time um, to sort out some toes eye definitely having some toes eye 100% so that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Massive thank you to Everett Decoy Collection again. Until the next one, stay safe. Jobs are good.